it's another beautiful day and with Shreya turning 18 tomorrow, I have so many things set on mind to do and I know this cricket machine of mine will be a lot helpful. More about it later. But for now, I'm prepping to make broccoli soup. It's snowing and it's freezing outside. Hot and healthy soup is what we crave for. I have two medium sized broccoli that I've cut into florets and adding in hot water. Disinfecting them just for 5 minutes time. Meanwhile, I roughly chop two medium sized carrots, two celery sticks, one medium sized potato. Getting rid of the water from the broccoli now. And in a big pot, I add in 20 grams of butter, an inch of ginger and four garlic cloves that I have chopped. Around 10 hazelnuts. 20 peppercorns and blanched broccoli and all the chopped veggies. I give a good stir and cover up allowing the veggies to steam just for a minute or two. Now to this I add in hot boiling water from the kettle covering up the vegetables. Two cubes of vegetable stock cooking for the further 10 minutes time. Adding in a teaspoon of red chilli powder salt to taste and I turn off the flame. Adding in handful of mint and coriander leaves together at once. Allowing it to cool down completely. And then I blend the whole in the juicer. Check on the consistency and feel free to add in more water at this point if required. But this is a thick soup which is quite a filling. It's perfect for lunch and dinner time. A quick nibble at the side with crispy papad, keeping it healthy by just roasting than deep frying. I'm making masala papad. Drizzling in ghee, salt, red chilli powder. It's good to just smear it so that the chilli powder doesn't pop up while eating or when the papad is broken. I sprinkle in freshly grated coconut, finely chopped tomatoes and coriander leaves. The soup is come to a good boil and is ready. This is a very easy winter soup that my husband created his version last winter that we loved it. So making it again this year for this winter. It's filled with goodness and is very tasty too. My husband is working upstairs, so here is his tray for lunch. Winter food, winter nibble can be healthy and quick and easy to make as well. You can also add in finely chopped onions if you wish to for the masala papad. After my lunch, I am planning to make cookie dough to distribute to all my friends who live close by to my house and also give away as a return gift to Shreya's friends tomorrow. I myself have followed a lovely tasty recipe from YouTube from Smokin' and Grill with AB. He makes lovely delicious cookie dough recipe that we love making at home. And this is his recipe that I am following today. So make sure to check out his recipe for making cookie dough. They taste fabulous and is super easy to make as well. Shreya loves cookies and hence the idea of sharing cookie dough with everyone. I got these medium sized tart cases online which I found them perfect in size to give away. I made it in two batches, soft, gooey and tasty cookie dough. I had to quickly go get changed as it's time to pick up the girls from school before they break up for Christmas holidays. Just in time, I managed to finish both the patches and cooling them down now on a rack. The cookie dough is cooled down now and I and Shreya thought we can just write number 18 on all of them. We just used ready to use icing. Now with all of them ready to give, we actually couldn't find the right measurement of the boxes online and the ones which we found were pretty expensive. So we thought of making our own cake box at home with the right measurement for which 
I just bought this A3 sheet pad. Uh, the sheets are quite firm and are strong. And if I had to buy cardboard sheet, uh, they were quite expensive. This book with 30 sheets was a good value for money and which worked pretty good as well. Now to make the cake box, I cut the paper in half and I placed them one above the other together and with both the sheets together, I folded the edges on all the four sides, say around three centimeters. And then I cut the opposite sides on all the four corners. And then just use the stapler to staple, fixing the ends and the corners together, creating a box. I repeated the same onto the other portion of the sheet, creating the bottom and the top of a box. This way, me and Shreya made 16 cake boxes in less than 10 minutes time. Created a few labels at home to stick them onto the cake box. This is a cricket machine. This is a very smart machine which cuts intricate designs, patterns from cutting to decorating all that you want and you wish for. This machine connects through the Cricut app which has enormous number of designs that you can choose or add in your own template. Now I also have plenty of beautiful vinyl colors which are removable that we are planning to use and create personalized drink glasses for Shreya's friends who are attending the party tonight. Click the button which is flashing and that's it. You can see the machine move creating magic, pattern, design so beautifully that I was jumping like a child, like a kid seeing it happen. Both my girls were amazed to see the machine work. It is truly a wonderful feeling when you actually get to see the machine move and cut the desired shape. Okay. And now I use the transfer tape, cut it to the right measurement of the design. Now I peel off the excess vinyl using tools to pick up the center portion and to lift up the design from its sides. So basically you cut the transfer tape to the same measurement and place it onto the names which will help to easily transfer it onto the glasses. It's that easy. You can actually create so many things on your own from handbags to shoes to dresses to labeling utensils in the kitchen to many more things. This was definitely one of the highlights of the party. All the girls loved the personalized drinks. This looks so good. It's time for the party and I'm getting the labels onto the cake box. And now to hold the boxes together, I'm tying a ribbon. It looks good and complete. Now I'm making the drink glasses ready for which in a plate I squeeze fresh lime and in another plate I have large crystal sugar. You can use any but if it's large it's more visible. Uh, yes this is brown sugar uh, that I had at home so I'm just using the same. You can use either white or brown sugar. Now to the sugar I add in food color. I'm using green as the color of the drink is expected to be reddish pink so I thought this would be a great combination. I combine it with the help of the fork. I dip the glass top in the lime juice and then I place it straight away into the colored sugar crystals. I have paper disposable glasses that I am using to fill in popcorns and I have placed it in one of the tables in the living room. In the shooter glasses we placed vegetarian strawberry laces and at the top we placed chocolate chip muffins. Shreya is mixing a few drinks together creating an easy mocktail. It's the raspberry lemonade at the base. Uh, she's just sharing it equally and now blending in with sparkling rose schlur and building up a layer of fizz with lemonade. Girls loved the drink. It's an easy mix mocktail perfect for parties and gatherings. With all the party food now ready and girls waiting for the pizza to arrive, we left the house to the girls to enjoy by themselves while me and my husband were off to an outing just by ourselves. I have the link and the details of the cricket machine for you all to have a look at in the description box so make sure to check it out. 
I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and a very happy new year.